hey guys welcome back to another video tutorial in this video i'm gonna teach you how you can create a sticky navbar using html css and also javascript so let's see here's a project that we will create inside the video right so very simple so let's get a start to create this one project so i open my code editor inside my code editor have a uh, index.html style.css and also script.js everything is clear on there inside the style.css have uh, my fonts uh, like a uh, different font size but we will use ubuntu so let's get start to create a project so i write the name write the class name underscore content and inside that i'm going to create a class logo inside the logo i'm going to add the logo like uh, write the text attitudes after the logo i'm going to add that url ally inside the url i'm going to add the nav links class inside the anchor link i mean uh ally tag i'm going to add the links like home this will be a wow this will be uh, services not services skills then i'm going to add that will be services contact and those are our links we will manage that step by step so let's see reset the property and margin will be zero box sizing i'm gonna add that will be border box then i'm gonna add that uh, also i have an image i'm gonna show you like this one so we will use this one image as a background so I'm going to select the anchor link to remove the text operation now. Now, position, I'm going to use the text and then I'm going to use left zero, top zero, and I'm going to use weight 100%. First, I'm going to start that. You can't see any changes on there, but also I'm going to add that will be font family will be Ubuntu. Ubuntu Sensory. So let's see, perfect. And inside there, I'm going to add that will be background just to uh, like this one. Perfect. Then I just use that. And also, I'm going to add that will be padding 20 pixel outside to make a space. Perfect. Then I'm going to select the nav, nav content. I'm going to use width will be, I'm going to use height will be 100%. And I'm going to use max width will be 41440. I want to display the content in the center. So I just use margin top, I mean margin auto to display the content in the center, as you can see. Right? If you do not use that, you will able to see this way so I'm gonna use margin auto and then I'm gonna use display flags to make a space use space between and use the align item center to manage the content in the same line so right now as you can see all right then I'm gonna select my logo and inside uh, like this way i'm gonna use the nav not nav nav content that logo have a anchor link font size i'm gonna use 35 pixel font weight i'm gonna use will be 500 color i'm gonna use white so let's see right then I'm going to add the nav, nav content and that nav links. I think I have used that. Uh, yes, like this one. So the first thing I'm going to add that display flex and align item center. I want to display the links in the same line. So just use display flex and align item center then i'm gonna add that will be 
I'm gonna remove that bullet so I select nav nav content and then uh, I just use nav links inside they have a light here list style type none I want to make a space so I use zero and add pixel left and right so and also now now links anchor link select that use font size I'm gonna use will be 18 pixel font uh, font weight I'm gonna use will be 500 and then I'm gonna add that will be color will be white and so perfect and I will use the font okay right now everything is clear on there then I'm gonna add that will be padding to make a space first I'm gonna use background then you will able to see everything is clear right then I'm gonna use fading 20 pixel not 20 pixel 10 pixel top and bottom on left right I'm gonna add that uh, 15 pixel to make a space right so this is our padding top and bottom left and right so I don't need to use the background on there then I'm gonna add that will be hover effect very simple hover effect to not now links and hover effect and the hover effect I just change the color will be 979FA0 like that so right now so use transition on uh, 3s sa right then I'm gonna select the first I'm gonna show you right then I'm gonna select the outside of there and so I use the ID home and I'm gonna select the home to display the image and the image I'm gonna add first I'm gonna add the height 100 VH and then I'm gonna use weight will be 100 percent background I'm gonna use URL colon uh, image and background size I then use cover and background position I'm gonna use center so cell so let's see okay why uh, I can't see the image mm. So, sir, and so on there. So, I can see the image perfect. So, I have used invalid path. So, this is our image. So, I think perfect for that. So, I'm gonna add the content area on there. So, use to assign the class content and this will be heading to our services and then I'm going to use p lorem 100 and I'm going to get that best second time so let's see right so we're going to use that that content I'm going to use width will be 100 for max width 144 pixel and I'm going to use margin auto to display the content in the same line. So save, save, and let's see. Everything in the same line. And then I'm going to add that will be text align, justify. And I'm going to use padding top and bottom 3 RAM, left and right 0. Line height to make a space 1.8 RAM. Then I'm gonna select the content H2 tag. Font size I'm gonna use 3 RAM. 
color will be like this one that we have used on Evo like this one and I'm gonna use the margin bottom to make a space 30 pixel so so let's see right now as you can see so the important thing is when I scroll down then I want to display the nearby otherwise I want to remove the background color so first I'm gonna comment that and see output of that right so I go to JS file in the JS file you need to get the data and then you need to assign the class inside the neighbor so let's see I use const this is a variable write any name as you want on there use document dot query selector and select the neighbor name tag right then call window dot add event listener use the event when I scroll down I call a scroll then I use function when the scroll down then I want to run the function inside the function I call the if statement and call document dot document not this just a minute not document element dot scroll mm, top greater than 20 then I want to run the I want to add the class inside the neighbor name class list dot add inside there you need to write any name I'm gonna use a sticky right so so let's see I'm gonna show you I open my dev tool and when I scroll down as you can see a sticky class has been appeared inside the neighbor when I scroll up then I want to remove that so I use else statement and then you just need to get that paste there and remove it so and let's see scroll down just a minute oh, where is neighbor okay I need to check that I'll system me and in the L system I'm gonna just just need to remove so and open it again and I'm gonna select that and do tool sticky class has been appeared when I scroll up it doesn't appear right now as you can see so what I need to do on there when I scroll down then I want to display the neighbor uh, display the background color so I cut the background color and then I'm gonna use near dot sticky this class when I scroll down this class will appear so I call that like this way so let's see as you can see right and everything is clear on there when I scroll up it's background color has been removed now right now as you can see everything is clear on there guys I hope you understood as well how you can get a sticky nearby using HTML CSS and also JavaScript thank you very much for watching have a nice day